Now, draft changes to employment equity regulations have sparked a racial debate in the country. The regulations were open for comment until last week, but it received severe criticism, with some saying it amounts to racial quotas. They accused government of wanting to change the act to sideline whites, coloreds and Indians. The regulations give details sectoral, racial and gender targets, but let's discuss this further with Kosatu's parliamentary coordinator, Matthew Parks, joining me this morning. Matthew, thank you so much for your time and good morning to you. Is this the case? Is this a racial a quota? Uh, just in terms of some of the criticism we're seeing here, government being accused of wanting uh, to sideline other you know, races such as Indians, whites and, and coloreds. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Um, so, look, I think it's it's always going to be a sensitive issue. Um, race is always a sensitive issue, especially given our history um, for anybody. And I think the, the attacks, you know, the kind of the fear mongering, the scare mongering by some of the opposition parties, by some groups have not helped because you can see with the protests in Westbury last week, it's a very sensitive issue. I think the simple thing is that employment equity has been here for the last 25 plus years. It's a necessary response to the racial segregation that was enforced over 350 years by the apartheid and by the colonial regimes. And if we don't do anything about it, um, then we'll continue along with those apartheid plannings, apartheid lines, where most of the CEOs of the banking or financial sector will be white men, where most cleaners will be African women, most farm workers will be African or colored men and women and so forth. So if you really want to have a society which reflects our diversity, which gives everybody an opportunity, irrespective of the color of your, of your skin, or where you live, or where you grew up, then we have to address this. So there are no quotas in the employment equity regulations. They are targets. So that's a different thing because the department has said we want to see people elevate the number of African women or white women or colored men or personal disabilities as per the sectors or where the sector happens to be. But they've not come and said, here are quotas. Here you must do it immediately. No one is going to be retrenched. No one is going to be fired. And it's quite unfortunate people have chosen to whip up fears. If you look at the stats, the targets, they have to be achieved or worked towards over five years. Each company must have specific employment equity targets that they engage with their workers and their unions on the ground to see what makes sense. If a company can't meet those targets, and there's about 15 acceptable reasons why they can't meet it, they just need to indicate we couldn't meet this target because there was no one of this color who applied for the job, or there's no one of this color or gender who lives in the area, who has necessary skills, etc. But it's, it's trying to nudge society in the right direction forward. But I think for us to say that the status quo is acceptable would be a mistake. We recently saw that the insurance industry celebrated that the first woman CEO was appointed of an insurance company. And that might be a positive thing, but are we really proud that 29 years into democracy, for the first time we're having a woman CEO of an insurance company? That should be a normal thing to have, not something that's quite shocking and unusual. If you look at most current Indian African families, they are, have, it's very difficult for them to, to improve in life, to achieve middle class or upper class jobs to earn a better living, often it's because of our kind of, you know, the remnants of racism and so forth. So the Employment Equity Act is about elevating people, but it covers everybody. If a company has overwhelmingly African men, that company will be told you need to employ some white men, some white women, et cetera, et cetera. So mm. the idea is simply to reflect the diversity of South Africa's demographics, not to exclude a single person. Yeah. With the mountain legal challenges also against the Act, Matthew, do you think this will almost uh, derail the Act, this will uh, set the Act back? No, no, we don't think so at all. Um, and look, I mean, I think we always welcome any legal challenge because that just provides clarity of law to everybody. Mm. I don't think there'll be any challenge because, again, this Act has been around for 25 years. If, for, the, if, for example, the DA or whomever was offended by it over all those years, Surely they would have gone to court long ago to challenge it. The regulations are simply enhancing the existing law. Um, and in fact, we're quite surprised that some people like the DA and Afri Forum and others um, have not actually celebrated because in the, in the revised act that came into effect um, earlier this year, it now requires that companies, um, workplaces should take into account regional demographic diversity. So for example, a company that's based in the Western Cape must take into account the fact that the Western Cape demographics are you know, 45% colored, 30% African, 20% white, etc. And, you know, so you don't apply it one size fits all because the demographics of the Western Cape, for example, are very different from that of Lumpopo, which is quite different from that of Kwazulu Natal. Now we're giving more rec rec recognition to the demographic diversity of the country, especially at a local level. And that's a very positive thing because previously we had had court cases where government was taken to, account, uh, to court, one department, correctional services were taken to court 
on a misinterpretation of the law where they did exclude um, colored prison wardens in the Correctional Services Department in, in Polsmo and Cape Town from promotion. And that was ruled unconstitutional. And hence, the governor then responded positively and said, yes, we need to fix the act. It now recognizes demogra demographic diversity, which is All quite right. critical to places like West, Northern Cape, and so forth. Well, I appreciate you speaking to us about this, Matthew. Matthew Parks uh, joining us, of course, talking more about uh, the employment uh, equity uh, bill, rather, that we know that most people at the stage, uh, or at least some critics, uh, saying that uh, this may not necessarily uh, be inclusive when it comes to other races, such as white uh, Indians, as well as uh, colors, as Matthew Parks from Kusatu. But also leading to this... Uh,